This is Jason from Wampler Pedals. I'm here today with Tom Quayle and he's going to be showing you some of the sounds out of the new Dual Fusion Dual Overdrive, which is his new signature Dual Overdrive pedal. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically show you the clean sound on the amp. We're using a Port City Pearl, um, which is a single channel, clean all the way up, um, head hand wired through a 2x12 cab, which is mic'd up. That's the primary signal that you're hearing. I'm using my Fibonari Roadmaster 56 guitar, standard kind of tele setup with single coils, and the clean tone sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is show you channel one. Channel one, uh, basically the sound that I was after was a, a kind of uh, lightly clipping to fairly overdriven amp that was really transparent sounding. And I really wanted it to sound as amp-like as possible. Uh, I didn't want it to sound like a pedal, which sounds strange for a pedal, but I really wanted it to sound amp-like. And I think Brian's really, really achieved that. So what I'm going to do is basically show you two sounds. Uh, I'm going to give you a lower gain sound, or a lower drive sound as it's named on the pedal, and then a higher drive sound so you can hear the range of sounds. And I'm going to switch between different pickup combinations so you can really hear how well the, the uh, pedal is tracking the guitar sounds and the pickup combinations. So let's have a listen to those two sounds now. Okay, so I've uh, selected a sound on channel one now. I'll just run through that with you. So the drive control is a higher gain setting. It's above kind of 12 o'clock. Uh, volume, just under 12 and then the tone control just pulled back a little bit past 12 as well. Um, the switch is in the smooth setting, which is in the upper position. And again, I'm just running through uh, the Fibonari and I've got the uh, neck pickup selected and we get this kind of a sound. <laughs> So the awesome thing about that sound is you can hear it's really transparent. It's incredibly dynamic. It's tracking my picking incredibly well. If I now switch to my bridge pickup. So the way it responds to uh, the pickups is absolutely amazing. And if I play really quietly again, just the last little thing, just have a listen to how it responds to my pick dynamics. Okay, so what I've done now is basically I've taken the same channel lowered the drive as you can see and increased the volume a little bit to compensate for the, lack, the uh, drop in volume that you get. Now, this is going to give you some lower gain kind of sounds. Now these are perfect for blues players or even you know from any genre really that requires that kind of lower gain sound. So have a listen to again how dynamic the pedal is at this point. <laughs> Now, the pedal at that point is kind of adding a little bit of grit to the signal. If I increase the gain all the way now, I'm going to go right the way through to the highest gain setting on this channel. Have a listen to how versatile it is. This is absolutely insane. Brian has really achieved something great here. I'm going to increase the drive all the way. Now, obviously, I'm going to drop the volume back. The volume's now probably about, what would that be, about 10 o'clock. And now I'll listen to how much drive we've got. I'm going to drop down to the bridge pickup, and we get this. <laughs> And fantastically, tracks pickup changes still and remains really transparent. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so final thing I'm going to do now is just show you the switch on channel one. Uh, channel one switch goes from smooth to fat, which basically gives you uh, a smoother kind of sound in the smooth setting, obviously. And then, as you'd expect, when you split down, you get a little bit more volume and it fattens the tone up a little bit in the mid range and then the bottom end. So here's the same thing played twice after flipping the switch. So. <laughs> Flip the switch. Okay, so we'll have a look at channel two now. Channel two is a much more modern, uh, more aggressive sound than channel one. Still got a character of smoothness about it though, uh, which is great for fusion. This sound is perfect for all sorts of genres from modern country through to classic rock and even out and out fusion sounds. There's enough gain on tap here just on this channel for that alone. So what we've got here basically on uh, channel two is you can see the red LED. Uh, switch is down in the natural position. We've got throaty and natural. We'll demo the throaty a bit later on. Gain is just over halfway. Volume is just under halfway and the tone is matching the, uh, the gain setting. So I'm on the uh, bridge pickup on my Fibonari and we get this kind of a tone. <laughs> Okay, so as you can hear, it's a real kind of, it's still a nice smooth sound, but it's a little bit more aggressive, as I mentioned. Uh, still low to sustain, great for those kind of legato lines, and there's even more gain on tap than we've got there, so you can really start to saturate things if you want. That's before we've even started stacking things. Okay, let's have a listen to a slightly lower gain sound now, and we'll do that uh, just by lowering the gain on the pedal, and we'll check out the next switch in the uh, upper position as well. Okay. Okay, so what I've done now is on channel two, I've basically lowered the gain, Raise the volume a little bit. Tone is exactly the same, but now we flip the switch up from um, natural to throaty. So it's given us much more mid-range in the sound. And uh, this is really, again, very dynamic. Great for chords, actually. Have a listen to this. <laughs> Okay, so I've now stacked channel one into channel two. So on the pedal itself, there's a switch at the top here. I've set it so that we're going one into two, just flicked it across to the right. On the pedal, uh, drives are both just over 12 o'clock. There's an insane amount of gain on here for all kinds of styles. The amazing thing is with this pedal, no matter where you set the gain, it still retains that transparency and that kind of natural amp-like compression. So you can still hear every note of even complex chords, no matter how much gain you've got going. But for the sake of kind of just showing you a, a kind of versatile kind of sound, we've got the gain set up just over halfway. Tones again, just under halfway. Uh, the pedal can get quite bright if you want it to, but I like my sounds a little bit less bright. And then volumes again, uh, kind of matched so that they're just under halfway. Um, here's the uh, bridge pickup on my Fibonari and we get this kind of sound. <laughs> Now check out how amazing it is when it uh, tracks the pickup changes, even though we've got this much gain and this much sustain, this is amazing. And it still remains spanky and transparent when I'm using my neck pickup, it's not got muddy at all. Okay. 
Okay, so we're now running channel two into channel one. Uh, the way I've done that on the pedal is I've flipped over the switch so it says two into one. And because we're just using one set of cables and the pedal doesn't have any digital switches in that are gonna degrade the quality of the signal, it's pure analog all the way. Uh, we've cabled into channel two and then out of channel one across here. Okay, that gives us a signal path. The pedal's set up um, so that basically channel one, the vintage channel is providing the majority of the gain. Channel two is boosting. You can see the gain is set lower and the volume is set higher. Here's the volume for channel one, set fairly low, volume for channel two. Tones again set sort of just over 12 o'clock this time. We've got a little bit of a brighter, slightly more aggressive, more modern kind of tone. And uh, this is the sound that we get basically using my uh, bridge pickup on the Fibonacci. <laughs> Again, tracks pickup changes really, really well. <laughs> Tons and tons of sustain, again very transparent, but as I say, a slightly more aggressive, more modern sound uh, as we found with channel two. So when we're driving channel one with channel two, boosting in that way, we get that slightly more aggressive sound. So unbelievably versatile. And again, remember the gain, still set pretty low. We can, we can get tons more gain and saturation out of this pedal. So you really can, if you wanna go full on hair metal, get your spandex going, you can do that as well. Really, really versatile. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this demo. Check out the sound clips on the OnePlus site as well. And, uh, you know, go and check this out. This is such a fantastic pedal, and I can't thank Brian enough for giving me this opportunity. So thank you very much. See you soon.